future badass server. My name is Jennifer and I am Waitress. In today's video we're going to talk about opening wine for a table. <laughs> so nerve-wracking. What are you going to do? I bet you're nervous. But, you know, I was thinking about it and I think opening wine for a table is kind of like kissing for the first time. Because remember before you kissed you were really nervous about it? and then you thought about it and you worried about it and then you did it and then I don't know if you were good at it or not but you did it and that's what that's the name of the game is just doing it and um, and now you're like an old pro at it remember the video that was out a couple months ago the two people had never kissed before and then they got married and they kissed and do you remember how appalling that was to watch well, maybe when you open your first bottle of wine for a table, it's going to be that appalling, but it's going to get better. I doubt those people still kiss like that. So today we're going to talk, like I said, about the bottle of wine. You want to present it to the person that ordered it. Regardless of who, man or woman, no matter how many people are at the table, you're going to present it to the person that said, excuse me, can we have a bottle of cheap Mark West Pinot? And you'll say, why well, yes, sir, you can. And you'll go and you'll get it and you'll come back. And it's important that you state the vintage because some people, when it's not a cheap ass Mark West, are going to be particular about the vintage because the vintage can be important. So you want to say, hey, this is the 2000, you don't want to say, hey, this is the 2010 Mark West Pinot from California. Oh, the 2010, the wine list says 2009. Eat, let me check. Ah, oh, vintage has changed. Do you want this or not? Yeah, we'll stick with it. Great! So you're going to present it. Now the fanciest thing in the whole world is keeping the label facing the person that ordered it so they can read it at their leisure while you open it. A lot of people will spin the bottle. Spin the bottle like kissing. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We want the, the uh, label facing the customer. So we grab, this is going to take practice. Are you going to practice? I don't know. You may or may not. But you want this facing the customer, holding your wine key. You're going to start at the top and you're going to make a cut all the way to the back until it's uncomfortable, you know, all the way to the back. And then you're just going to flip, flip this way. take off the top. Boom. And actually I'll put that in your apron or in your pocket. You can either cut the the very top, the lip, but I think it's kind of groters because um, wine can get in the foil and then it's not ideal and you'll have drips and this is not very nice. So if you can do it under the lip, you know, there's that little, that little lip, so you're going to do the thing, thing, and then you're good. And then you're going to open. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to go out and you're going to get a bottle of wine. And you're going to do this at home. And then you're going to put the cork back in the bottle. And you do it again. And you're going to put the cork back in the bottle and do it again until you feel all right. And then you're going to do it in front of a customer. And it's either going to go well or it's not. Who cares? You have to do it. Uh, you're going to take the cork out. Make sure when you put the cork through in, it doesn't go all the way in. You want to be able to see at least a full coil on the top. Uh, if you do more than that, then it's coming out the bottom. But you don't want it to come out the bottom. You want it to uh, not, not pierce that. That's important. You don't want to get cork crumbles in the wine. And, and by putting the, um, the cork not all the way in, you will, uh, you will do that. So then you're going to present it to whoever has purchased the wine and you want to put it on something if you can and not every restaurant does this but if you're going to do it, do it, you know what I mean, like go all the way and do it right. So you're going to want to put this and you're going to present it and someplace put it up and the best way that I ever heard is to have this, this wine stain facing away from the customer. So when they go reach for the butter or when they do whatever, their cuff of their shirt isn't touching the red wine. There's no, there's no way that it can. Uh, injure the shirt in that way. So you'll do that. He'll do it every once. He'll probably, they might smell it. You don't need to smell a cork. The important part is smelling the glass of wine. So 
Uh, once that is done, you're going to pour just a taste. Just a taste. You don't pour the full glass. Whoever's ordered it gets a taste. And then you're going to stand holding it like a champ. And they're going to swirl and do whatever. And they're going to smell and they'll probably taste because they don't know what they're doing. They're going to smell and they're going to taste and it's going to be fine or not. We'll do another video about that. But then once that's poured, you're going to go um, around the table clockwise to all the ladies. And you're going to go, go, go again all the way around clockwise to the men. And you're going to end with the person that ordered it. And you're going to finish pouring it. Don't pour out the whole bottle. Don't pour out the whole bottle. Why? Because then it looks like you're forcing them to order another bottle. Even if you leave just a little bit, it's their choice. This is their experience. So you're going to do that. You're going to leave it. You're going to say, sir, ma'am, can I remove the cork from the table? Who wants to look at this nasty ass cork? Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but the offer should be to remove it. If they want to keep it, everyone that you work with should agree on a spot that the cork goes if the customer wants to keep it. So in case your manager walks by or a teammate, they don't say, excuse me, do you want to keep the cork on the table? Yeah, people have asked me three freaking times. I want to keep the cork. Okay, so make sure you uh, you have a place that you put it. Once the person says, yes, they want to keep the cork, you put it in the middle of the table. You put it to the right of the butter. You put it, you put it, you put it, wherever. Wherever it is, um, you've decided where that goes. That's it. Do you have questions? I'm sure you have something to say. You have a comment, don't you? But thanks for watching. Sign up for my newsletter because it's awesome. So thanks for tuning in and uh, make tons of money tonight. Thank you.